Okay, and with some of those jaggies out of the way, we're back with uh, more Monster Hunter Try on the Wii. Featured on YouTube and GameAnyone.com. I'm Zachary H. Chalkin, but you probably know that already. We're just going to do a little bone searching, because they can be kind of useful. Actually, about anything in this game can be useful. There's some slight, uh, what do you call it? There's some slight exceptions to that rule, but mostly anything you can find in the game will be useful. Just kind of to go over some of the attacks of the sword and shield. This will be gone over again in when I get to online, but you have. A, which will do a side to side, a side to side, or will do start your basic attack. You, not A. What am I thinking of? X, X on the classic controller. We'll do the uh, start your basic attack. If you're moving and you start your attack, you do a leap slash. You can do that leap leap slash anytime you want. If you have your sword and shield out and you press both the X and the A button at the same time. You can do a leap slash. You can do... After you start your combo, and you go to then pressing A, you can either go into a shield dash, or two... one horizontal and then one vertical slash, that then leads into a uh, revolving slash, if you can keep pressing A. Actually, no, it doesn't go into a revolving slash from the uh, A button. You have to press the uh, start button to do that. That's basically all the attacks. And now we get to cook some steak. Now, so tasty. that's basically how you cook a steak. And actually, I'm going to uh, cut the rest of this out for cooking steaks, because I'm going to cook as many as I have. So I'll see you then. Alright, and we're all done with that. Gonna have some nice burnt meat that I messed up on. And... We're gonna continue back to the village. We know... We note. We don't have the uh, command return to village yet, but we'll be getting that soon. <laughs> Excuse me. Had to burp. Ooh. And we have 30 points, so let's head back to the village. Junior is just talking to us about that, that we should make sure we have 30 points before we return. <clears throat> Which is not that hard to get, but we have it. Yep, we have it. And back to the village we go. Dun 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 dun. That's a pretty iconic song for about every Monster Hunter fan. You should all know that. Anyway, let's take those points. Get all 53 of them. Also from that, we get some uh, extra things. And let's complete this. So now we might be able to start doing quests for the guild, but uh, we may have to get some other people's trusts first. Let's see, who can we talk to? I know we can talk to the blacksmith, but huh? I guess he's the only person. 
What do you got, man? Want us to go get something in the forest? Maybe some kind of material? Maybe in some iron? I'm assuming it's iron. Yeah, it's iron. He wants us to get iron. Ugh. Jeez. Well, this is me seeing if I can actually buy a bow gun. And you can. But I don't nearly have that much money. Actually, currently I have zero zinni. So... Uh, yeah, we're not doing it that way. Anyway. Oh, great. Now I start sounding like Prince Boo. But the whole anyway. And so... Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. I need to stop doing that. How did I know that he was going to, like, pop up and tell us something? Anyway. Now you can see that we have Area 4 on the map. That's where we'll be headed. <clears throat> he also told us, the village chief at least, since we repaired the camp, we should head there and pick up a torch. Which I, stupidly enough, don't do, but you, if you're playing the game, you technically don't need, but it would have been a lot useful for y you all, so I'm ahead of time apologizing about that. These little creatures are called Kelby. You can do one of two things to them. You can knock them out, and then carve something off of them. The ones with the horns, which that one doesn't have one, that one does. That one has horns. Knock out that one. To do this, the shield bash, just hold with the sword and shield, just hold forward and then A, and you'll do a shield bash. But you can also get Kelby horns from the Kelbys. The ones with the large horns, you have a much uh, greater chance of getting horns. But you can also slay them! Which actually takes a lot longer to do comparatively. But, you can get different items, such as warm pelt, which you can use to make like leather armor or stuff like that. So now to show off Area 3, we'll, we will head through there. <sighs> yeah, we have a pickaxe. We know. There should be more in the... Uh, back at the hut, if we absolutely need it. But this is Area 3. Kind of a small area. Usually has Alteroth and... Uh, Aptonoth around here. You can also get more mushrooms here. There's a couple mushroom spots, actually. So, if you need blue mushrooms, that's a good place to look. We're not going to be going to Area 7 at the moment. But we'll be there a lot of time. Now, there's a little creature that's a little hard to see, but we can see it now. These are called felines. I think we had seen them before, or I remember explaining them before. These are felines. Feline spelled F-E-L-Y-N-E, -E. not with an I. But we will go into area 4, which is fairly dark, and I'm sorry if you won't be able to see much. Uh, we won't come into area 4 much, but I guess I can show it off now. Um, I'll try to show it off a little bit later with better light, bringing a torch and whatnot. Um, yeah, you really cannot see much. It's just a cave. 
there's not much in there. There is this, uh, the feline village, along with these maylinxes, which are the, uh, evil kind of felines, which, uh, Prince Boo refers to them as, uh, cat burglars. But yeah. You can't... We can't... Yeah, there's not much to see in here. Eventually you'll find a little node that you can mine from. You can also find there are these little animals, which we will see a lot later. Like, a lot, lot later. Called Giggies. They're kind of like... If you've seen previous Monster Hunter games... Which you're from... If you are from Game Anyone, I highly doubt you've even heard of the series. So... Ha! There. All those people with their FPSs. Um... If you have seen the series before, and you know what a Kuzu is... It... it looks kind of like a kuzu. No, oh, it doesn't look like a kuzu. It looks kind of like a kuzu well. Kind of. Um. But, just basically imagine a slug with a really big mouth that then tries to jump on you and suck your blood. And we mine some iron. So, we can actually head back. But I am going to try to get a little bit more. Oh, now we mined some iron. I guess we just found a node before. But now we have some iron. Unfortunately, that node was only giving us one. Jerk. Jerk, jerk. Trying to look for some more. Found some more. And there's going to be a Giggy that tries to hop on me. Yup! Yup! You can knock out just about everything, so... Yeah. Knock out, stun, whatever kind of status you want to call it. Same basic thing. But anyway, it is dark in here. Let's, let's head out. Let it, let's head out of here. But first, a little bit more mining. Iron ore will be your best friend here at the beginning of the game. A lot of things are made out of iron ore, or use iron ore. So it'll be very good at the beginning. Now let's head back out to the surface. And continue on our journey to getting a bowgun. How long will it be before we get our bowgun that we so desire? Find out next time on the next episode of Monster Hunter Try Gunner Mode. I'm Zachary Chokum. Thank you for watching, and have fun gaming. Ah, Aptonoth, you can't get away! Not today! Not today! Ah, uh, ah. Uh.